I was hospitalized the week before Christmas, and I still thought we were going to New York. I assumed I could get out on Tuesday, we go on Thursday, it's all going to be good, and the doctor said, you're not going anywhere. So I felt like I let everybody down. When I was diagnosed, everybody had their own way of handling it and, and dealing with it. My dad actually um, offered me both his kidneys, and of course he was turned down, but um, I thought that was sweet, and I pretty much was just on the couch. It turned out to be actually one of the most wonderful Christmases I think we've ever had. Um, something like this makes you appreciate what you have and it makes you really thankful and pulls the family together. And that's exactly what happened. And it was, it was a beautiful Christmas. Once we got into the dialysis routine of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, basically for three to four hours in the morning of her being away. They said, white flour's great. White rice is great. White sugar is great. <laughs> jelly donuts are fine. So I'm on the jelly donut diet. We started trying to slowly integrate her back into her life. It was hard at first because the dialysis process really drained her. In the beginning, she couldn't drive herself and she needed a nap. The doctors told me my kidneys were not going to come back, but I have definitely heard stories of it happening, so I'm hopeful. Um, I'm praying for that. I'd like it to happen um, because I'm kind of locked in a dialysis chair three days a week and I feel trapped. It's three hours every day that I'm there and you know you just have to find something to do. You have to find um, something to focus on. Les decided pretty quickly she was not going to let this stop her. We got together as a family including her mom and dad and we we got on the phone with all the Nashville people and we said listen we're not going to stop. We're not going to let this beat her. Um, we're going to do everything that we need to do to support her, and it's uncharted territory. We don't know what we're going to be up against, but we're going to do everything within our power to see this through. So here we go. She knew. She knew who she was. She knew what she was going through. She knew what she had to do, and she knew that she was going to live this out in a positive manner. I think when things like this happen, people think you're just going to quit, and I probably did consider that for a moment, but um, music is my joy. I mean, it's the thing that makes me happy, so there's no way I would quit. Uh, you know, it's just a matter of trying to figure it out, trying to, you know, find the path. And right on the heels of all this, we were supposed to be filming a music video for my new single, and the new single was coming out in January, and here I am, like, you know, how am I going to do this? So I told Trey, I, I have to do my music video. I have to do this. I, I, I want to. It was amazing doing this music video. First of all, the warehouse, and we had these giant fans. And, um, and I was freezing, <laughs> shivering. You know, I'm singing, that was the whiskey. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I mean, freezing. And giant fans blowing at me. My hair is doing the like model-y thing. And um, I had this great band. and an amazing atmosphere, amazing crew, amazing director, amazing producer, and I'm just like, this is my dream come true. If only I had the energy to really <laughs> enjoy every moment of this. Um, but it, it's a memory I'll never forget. I love the way it came out. I'm really proud of it. When she gets home from a video shoot or from a recording session, she's always got this sort of buzz, this energy. She's on this high, and she didn't exactly have that when she got home from the video shoot for That Was The Whiskey. She was pretty beat. It's interesting how this dialysis process just really sucks the energy out of her. But we're pretty confident that as she just does more and more that she's going to be stronger and stronger as she goes. She was excited to see herself in a really different and sort of fun way. It's one of the things that she really likes about videos. She gets to play these characters. And in this one, she gets to play a rocker. So it was great. I think I'm a fighter. You know, my body was telling me to stop and sit down. And my brain was going, oh, this is amazing. I, I don't care. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep singing, dancing, moving. Um, and I was exhausted. I was really exhausted, uh, but I didn't care. I was having a good time. <laughs> that was